Well, Candace, as you said, blood stains on the streets of two central Virginia cities. Shooting and murders have been in the headlines for the past two weeks. Tonight, we talked to a former Memphis gang member who goes into ground zero for answers. Monday mayhem in Creighton Court. Three shot within two and a half hours. One of the victims dies on scene. Rather than walking away from them, I decided that I mean, I'm going to go down about a half a block here and talk with them, you know, and that's what I did. Crew Sherman is part of the city's reset team, a team of officers and faith leaders that go door to door asking citizens if they're okay. He's also closing in graduation as a Richmond police chaplain. And what most don't know, 40 years ago, he was heavily involved in street life in Memphis, Tennessee. Perhaps the perfect ear to listen to why violence is staining our city streets and young adults are falling victim. All of them were in agreement. It was about 12 of them out there, a couple of females. Is that man, We're tired of hearing everybody talk. Somebody come down here and bring some people that we can relate to. And that it really resonated with me, you know, that that's what they want. Somebody that understands what the hell is going on and the reason we have these issues, not there, but all across the damn city. And recently, it's been the tale of two cities, just 25 miles apart. Petersburg, with seven murders and more than three dozen shootings, is enduring what's been a vicious two-week cycle of violence. We're not getting that many calls uh, uh, from the public uh, offering their, their help in this. We can't do it by, by ourselves. It, it has to be that partnership between us and the community. Richmond has had its share, too. Now 23 homicides in 2022 and more than 80 people shot. Chief Gerald Smith says RPD will be aggressive in combating crime in the months to come. Our Red Ball crew, our task force that's out there doing great work, you know, they've taken a hundred, over 180 guns off the street. Their, their primary goal is to target those who are pulling triggers and to get the guns off the street. And so now we're going to just activate our patrol for this summer to make this city even safer. That's what we really got to do is start squashing some of this stuff, getting out in front of it before we see you know, two shootings at four o'clock, another one at eight o'clock, and then what we see down in Petersburg and, and Henrico and Memphis and across the nation. And Cruz Sherman says if the violence is to stop, city leaders have to listen to the city youth with an open mind and realize the more tape that's rolled out uh, during the process means even more yellow tape in our city neighborhoods, definitely something he does not want to see.